continuing the series of videos on pest and disease management. And you think, what has this got to do with pest and disease management? The first principle of having a healthy apple tree is to plant the right trees in the right place. It is often said by people who are sometimes strongly opposed to the use of pesticides, and I, I can relate to their concerns, that if you look after the health of the tree, the tree will have good natural immunity and will be much less susceptible to pests and diseases. That is true. Um, I'm just coming into a little holiday, uh, which I haven't posted anything for a week or so, and we're up here in uh, an upland. This is a place of relatively high altitude and the soil is thin and acid and apple trees don't grow here at all. Lots of other trees do. There's some spruce over there. I think they're spruce. Uh, there are some willow. Uh, here's a birch, big silver birch. And you can see it's got very, very thick um, moss growing to a height of all, all the way up the trunk, really. There's some ash here, although it's quite stunted, and um, uh, you can't see it very well here, but there is a lot of larch. Um, yeah, there's a lot of larch here, and that's growing reasonably well, uh, but you couldn't grow apples here. Don't even try. I mean, having said that, if you happen to be a place that's above 500 feet, that's about, uh, about the limit. All of the authorities, I've been, for this series, uh, I've been looking uh, up the books, and yeah, 500 feet is about the limit. If you, if you, if you, that's the only land you've got, if that's where you live and you think, right, I'm going to grow an apple tree, then do your best, but just recognise you're up against it. Uh, the soil around here is, um, is very thin. I don't know how well I can show it to you. Um, here, it's a little bit rocky here. I don't know how much of that is what's, what was normally here or, of course, this is an old mine working, this, uh, well, this particular lake, it isn't a mine working itself, but it was one of a series of, of dams that was produced as a dam wall up there. It was produced to power hide, to produce water power uh, to assist with mining. But anyway, if you were to dig around here, you'd find that the soil is very shallow. Shallow soil won't do. High elevation won't do. Very high level of rainfall won't do. Rainfall ideally wants to be about 30 inches a year, give or take. Much less than that maybe you could irrigate much more than that uh, it's going to be difficult because apple trees do not like being constantly wet uh, as I can show you from my own orchard which is 200 miles from where I'm standing right now um, you know so anyway just to try and keep these lessons short and to the point don't try to grow altitudes above an altitude of 500 feet don't try to grow apples in thin stony soil don't try to grow apples in places of very high rainfall most soils can be improved. The two sorts of soil that are really useless, according to the research I've been doing and based on my own thinking and experience, uh, are a very shallow soil, so less than 12 inches before you get down to a pan or bedrock. That's no good, don't bother. Um, although, I was saying, if you had to, if you've got a bad so place like that, then pile the soil up so in one place and you might get away with it. Break the pan down, you might get away with it. Uh, if it's too uh, dry uh, in the region where you are you could irrigate if it's too wet you could um, some people do this you could make furrows you could raise parts of the ground you could have like long furrows of earth where the, the soil is raised up a bit so you build in some drainage and this I'm told can work in very wet areas but I've not tried it but anyway just to, to finish off here this is um, this is uh, upland Wales. Nobody around here even attempts to grow apple trees because the soil, the, the climate, uh, the rainfall and the altitude are all against it. So don't uh, attempt the impossible. Uh, choose good soil and um, if you've got a hard pan, break it up. If it's a very, a very wet, you may need to elevate the... Uh, um, uh, the, the, the roots of the trees to some extent by ridging the earth. I've not tried it, but I'm told it can be done. Okay, I'll get on to some more about the uh, tree's health later.